What's up everybody? Welcome to the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C. I am highlighting one of the most kick-ass whiskey clubs in the world today. It's the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. They are the largest independent bottlers of Scotch whiskey in the world. So put down that overpriced Macallan and pay attention. This is how you score some of the most unique scotches and whiskeys on the planet. These bottles are classy, right? You can even, has a big, huge, like, cup on the bottom of the bottle. Could probably pour some whiskey in there, take a sip. <laughs> mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch has got scotch. Here it goes down, down into my belly. Before we jump in, I do want to say that this video is sponsored by the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Uh, they sent me these two beautiful bottles right here to talk to you guys about. Now, while some of you may say that sponsored videos aren't genuine, I rarely do sponsored content just because unless I really love the product or know the product or really believe in it, I'm really not gonna introduce it to you guys. So who is the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society or the SMWS if you like acronyms? So the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is nothing more than the world's leading club of whiskey lovers. Founded in 1983 in Edinburgh, Scotland, it began as a small group of friends with a shared appreciation for whiskey and it grew into an international community with nearly 30,000 members in over a dozen countries all around the world. All right, so this is the cool thing right here. Every month they release a new selection of 20 to 30 different single cask whiskeys from all over the world. Now, they mostly focus on Scotland, but you'll also find stuff from Japan, from Ireland, from Taiwan, from India, uh, even America. Uh, they also periodically release a gin, a rum, a cognac, and armagnac as well, all in single cask, cast strength form, but they are truly known for their epic scotch selections. These are single cask selections, so if you were talking in bourbon language, it would be a single barrel. Uh, so each selection is going to be different, each selection is going to be very unique, and it's never going to be replicated again. The really cool thing, and just like I like my bourbons and American whiskeys and any other whiskeys, mostly for me, I love everything to be cast strength, non-chill filtered, and also with these, there's no color added. So why do I highlight zero color additives? Because in some brands, they actually add caramel color to the whiskey to make it seem older than it really is or make it a little bit more appealing on the shelf. That's right, I'm looking at you, Dalmore. Each of their single cask whiskeys has to pass an uncompromising nose test of their expert tasting panel, which is a group of independent whiskey connoisseurs from all walks of life before being deemed worthy of the iconic green bottle from the SMWS. Selection criteria center around two specific attributes, quality and interest. So the tasting panel meets weekly at one of the society's Edinburgh members rooms to judge a selection of samples. They discuss each sample, decide if it's good enough and award an overall score. Casts that do not pass all these tests are rejected. So today we're gonna to test two bottles they sent over based on my specific palette and what I like, which is actually one of the services they offer, but we will get into that a little bit later. So first is this selection called Isla Medley, which is an 11 year old single cask age and refill X bourbon barrels. Now each bottle gives a number instead of a name that denotes each distillery. Now they do this since society members wanna discover and enjoy each whiskey for their own flavor characteristics, not for what distillery they actually come from. Now, each bottle does carry a bottling code. Scotland! The first number represents the distillery where the whiskey is from. The second represents the number of single casks that have been bottled from the distillery. The outturn is the number of bottles. And of course, you have the name, age, cask info, and the unique and creative tasting notes they are known for, like this one, which says, briny coastal aromas, a muscular texture with bold notes of peatiness and thick notes of tar and ash make for a delicious dram. I don't know about you, but that's... That shit sounds wonderful. But if you do want to know what distillery uh, each selection is from, there are some online resources that will tell you what each bottle code stands for. This one happens to be from Kalila, which is one of the most celebrated Scotch uh, distilleries in Isla. So let's go for a quick nose of this one. Here we go. 
What's interesting is I just get pure vanilla and salt. I think I get a ton of vanilla from all of that, um, the, the ex bourbon cast that, that this was aging for 11 years. Plus I think you get that salty and brininess from, which is typically a note you get from Kalila. There's a butteriness to this. This is so like honey and buttery right off the nose. So I, I sat on the phone with, uh, you know, with the SMWS and kind of went through my whole flavor profile um, that I'm interested in when it comes to scotches and peated and a mix of peated or ex bourbon or ex sherry and bourbon or kind of the way I like to go. So this I thought was a really good intro into um, into what they offer because I am, you know, more of a bourbon heavy type reviewer uh, or bourbon heavy type drinker. They wanted me to kind of experience something that's um, that's peated, but also has a lot of bourbon influence to it from those casks. Very light caramel in here. There is a salty sea air brininess to it that's really enticing. Now that might sound gross to a lot of you, but when you mix that with the sweetness, it's that it's that combination of salty and sweet that a lot of people love. Let's try it. Here we go. It is just thick and rich. The sweet flavors are extremely just right up front. And then boom, right on the mid palate. Oh, I just got some more sweetness in the back. Okay. So this is all caramel, vanilla, kind of those ex bourbon flavors. And then once it hit mid's palate, you get the peat, you get the smoke, you get the brininess, the saltiness. Then right on the very end, you get hit with like honey apricot. Like if you took like apricots or, or peaches and just soaked them in honey, you know, over the course of a, you know, a week or so. That one definitely takes you on a ride. This is, and I mentioned these are all cast strength. So this is 58%. So 58% ABV, we're looking at 116 proof. Not too bad for a scotch. Let's go for another sip. The salty, buttery, and honey notes really are starting to come out more as my palate gets used to this. That's delicious. Yeah, something 11 years old at that high ABV, non-chill filter, no color added. It is pretty light, as you could see. There's definitely no color added to this. It almost looks like, you know, like a nice white wine. One last sip of this one. Man, just the more you drink it, the peat just, the peat and the smoke just get a little bit more subdued. The, the sweet flavors come out, those apricot, the honey, a little bit of that vanilla still sticks around and then you're just left with a really nice balance. Man, hell of a first bottle, really glad they sent me this one. That one's gonna go fast. Enjoy it now. Someday, you'll understand. All right, so next up we're gonna try this powerhouse called Wafts You to Heaven. This is a 22 year old Highland Scotch Asian X bourbon casks. Now it's actually a Highland distillery called Ardmore, which is located in the village of Kenneth Mont in Scotland and owned and operated by Bean Suntory. So this one comes in at 51.6% ABV. Uh, this has, you know, some good age to it. There is also a little bit of smoke to this as well, but 22 years in the next bourbon cask, it's definitely got a lot of sweetness to it as well. So let's see how it balances out. Let's go to the nose. Wow, you definitely get the oak influence on here. There is a ton of oak spice and cinnamon and baking spices right off the bat. You get that nice burnt toast flavor. There's a slight citrusy aspect to it. Man, there is a beautiful butterscotch note that's just like rich and velvety. Dare I say butter pecan? For those of you that don't say butter pecan, butter pecan. There's also like a, uh, like a barbecue charcoal aspect to it. It's very faint, but it underlies all those beautiful, um, all those beautiful sweet notes. And that's interesting. So it's like if you took a Werther's original candy and like you barbecued it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like a smoked, like a smoked butterscotch dessert. That, that's actually probably a, a good way to describe it. Man, that's amazing on the nose. Let's go for a sip. Oh, the nose matches the palate on that one. I get all those beautiful sweet notes right up front and then this underlying barbecue smoke kind of comes in right on the back end. Really nice balance of sweet and smoky. It's way sweeter than the 11 year. This, this, uh, the Isla Medley came in definitely more salty, more briny, a little bit more of a coastal type dram. Whereas this one is way more sweet. Not so much on the smoke like the Isla Medley was, but still provides a good balance. Another sip. Man, and this one really drinks easy, but it's actually a flavor bomb. This one's 
more velvety and creamy than the 11 year. This one is really just coats the palette. Again, you're, you're a tad over 100 proof. You're not getting a super long finish on this one, but it, what you're losing in finish actually makes up for in the palette. It's just so creamy and rich and flavorful. One last sip of this, uh, this one here. It's just the, the, there's just a very delicate nuance here of between that, that smoked butterscotch, toffee, burnt toast combination to go along with that little bit of a smoke characteristic. I mean, this one was good, but I said this one's gonna go fast. This one might go a little faster. I mean, really good. All right, guys, so now you're intrigued. What's the deal and how do you become a member? Standard membership is 99 bucks a year for the first year with a $70 renewal fee each year after. So what does that exactly get you? First, and it's the most important thing, you get members only whiskey. So only members can access their monthly outturns of around 20 new single cask, single malt bottlings from over 140 different distilleries. For me, uh, I wanted a unique opportunity to buy single cask offerings from distilleries that don't offer single cask expressions very often. Now again, these are all bottled to cask strength, no water, no additives, always non-chill filtered, but remember every now and then, they do offer an American whiskey, a bourbon, a Taiwanese, an Indian whiskey, Armagnac rum, and gin. Gin? Eh. I don't drink alcohol from that portion of the color spectrum. But you get the idea, other spirits as well. Next in is probably my favorite part, you get a personal concierge. If you have a question about uh, a particular expression or an upcoming release, uh, the concierge team can share recommendations based off of your preferences, your palate, talk specs on anything whiskey related, and just share general info on any of the offerings that they have or anything upcoming. You get a member card, lapel badge, access to member events and virtual tastings across the country, whiskey education opportunities, and access to the vault collection, which are some of the rarest casks that they have available uh, that they actually bottle. They're pretty pricey, but you're not gonna get expressions like that anywhere in the world. Uh, also, you can check out the membership bundle options where you can become a member and score a bottle of one of their single cask selections to go with your first time membership. So if you've been on the fence, maybe trying to think about joining the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, now is a really great time to do it. I can't say enough about the society and the services they offer and what you get. Uh, the bottles range, they can range anywhere from 75, 100, all the way up to thousands, depending, you know, once you get into that vault collection. So it's a good range for all price points. Uh, once you become a member, um, again, I was on the phone with the concierge team for, I don't know, at least 25, 30 minutes, just talking whiskey and talking history and going through what I like, what they like, some of their upcoming releases. It's just, it's a great service and I, I wouldn't want to talk about it unless I truly believed in it. So uh, if you guys do become a member, I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video as we highlighted the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you're a member of the SMWS, uh, what you think of it. If there's, any, uh, if there's any improvements you'd like to see made, I'd love to talk to them about it, see what they got coming up. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'll see you guys next time on the Mash and Drum. Take care.